I, uh, I had one of the most, other than, you know, performing on this show, one of the most exciting uh, show business things just happened to me recently. I was graduated from University of Florida. That's not the exciting thing. <laughs> that was a while back. And uh, this year, uh, I headlined the homecoming show at the University of Florida. It's 80,000 people at the University of Florida. I'm doing a half hour of comedy for 80,000 people, the first alum to ever headline this show. Uh, it's pretty exciting. But the most exciting thing was, in 30 minutes, <laughs> I got my tuition back. <laughs> <laughs> is this a great country or what, boy? <laughs> and I, I'd sort of been hacked about my, my education. I was not a great, uh, a great student. Um, I tried very hard. I, I did uh, things like debating club. I was in debating club. I wasn't, I wasn't good at debating. My idea of a good rebuttal was, well, you're just stupid. <laughs> I actually won a couple that way. Uh, <laughs> the element of surprise. Um, I spent a lot of money on my education, folks. I spent $40,000 on my education. 40 grand. I own $40,000 worth of information. <laughs> it's all contained in this small area right here. 40K right there. I've been out of college 17 years, and 17 years, no one has asked me for any of this information. <laughs> I could have stayed stupid and bought a Lamborghini. <laughs> no practical use for it. No policeman has ever stopped me for speeding and said, boy, you were doing 65 miles an hour. What is the definition of osmosis? <laughs> Now, I'm ready for that. I studied molecular movement from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration across a semi-permeable membrane, sir. <laughs> well, hell, you can go. <laughs> Took four years worth of Spanish. I took $10,000 worth of Spanish. <laughs> Today, I remember two $5,000 sentences. <laughs> One, mi toca disco está descompuesto. My record player is broken. <laughs> They're pretty good for five grand. Tu que lastima, dos chicas en la cocina. What a pity there are two girls in the kitchen. <laughs> you can well imagine how many times I have needed those sentences. <laughs> but see, that's where I was wrong. And, and I'm willing to stand up in front of you and the television audience and admit that I was wrong because what I have learned since I've been out of college is sooner or later, you get a chance to use everything you learn, everything, no matter how esoteric. <laughs> <laughs> 1295. <laughs> I even got a chance to use my Spanish. Both sentences, same day. That's a true story. This is verbatim the way this little incident in my life went down. I'm at Disneyland. Main Street, standing on the sidewalk, waiting for the inevitable parade of Disney characters to pass by. Between me and where the parade is going to happen, there is a Mexican family. Father's standing right in front of me. He has on a camera. He seems to be having a problem with the camera. He seems to be asking me for help. Well, I say seems because all I know is he hasn't mentioned kitchen or record player. <laughs> he keeps talking to me. I'm getting real uncomfortable. I realize I got to say something to him in his native tongue. I reviewed my Spanish. I looked him right in the eye and hesitantly I told him, mi toco disco está descompuesto. My record player is broken. That stopped him cold. True story, he looked real puzzled for a second. 
Then a smile broke out on his face. He turned to his wife, told her what I said. She burst out laughing. Hell, I realize I've touched him. I pressed my advantage. I looked at him again, this time confidently, I said, que lastima, dos chicas en la cocina. Now, this is where it gets real good. Because this guy thought about this for a second. Then he looked at me, and he said, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I, of course, replied, burrito. <laughs> to which he responded, Chevy Impala. We were communicating. Now, we stood there 20 minutes, screaming anything we knew in each other's language. Now, the longer I stood there, the more Spanish came back to me. I realized I'd learned three sentences after college for free. Now, I figured this is my moment, get it all out of my system, so I whipped them on them. Donde esta la playa nudista? <laughs> Where's the nude beach? That tore him up. What? Yo me siento muy borracho y que si era morirme. I'm very drunk and I want to die. I learned both those on the same vacation. Uh, and the last one I learned traveling on airplanes a lot. Su asiento puede usada para un salvavida. Your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device, which I think is a patently ridiculous announcement that your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device. Folks, if we're crashing, my seat cushion's gonna be used as a toilet. <laughs> I'll be in the ocean giving that bad boy away. Uh... <laughs> People wonder where I learned sentences like, where's the nude beach? Learned that in Martinique, went to one of those club med things. Evening meal at every club men in the world served the same way. Family style, eight people to a table, strangers. You don't know them. My first evening there, I'm seated with seven Latin Americans. We're sitting there discussing the problems I'd been having with my stereo. <laughs> Subject of the nude beach comes up. I'm instantly intrigued because I've never been to a nude beach before and I want to go, so I went. Now, this is the most important information I can pass on to you in life. Before you go to a nude beach first time ever in your life, the first time, there are things you got to think about before you go. Sunscreen. <laughs> now, I'm a bright young man. I had imagined the problem, and I solved it. I bought sunscreen. I'm standing there. I get to the beach. I put the towel down. I take my clothes off. I put the sunscreen on my hand. I realized I hadn't thought far enough ahead. <laughs> this is something you got to be real casual about. And the problem was compounded by the fact that on the tube it said, reapply every 20 minutes. <laughs> Thank you all very much. We'll see you again.